Max here from shopsolarkits.com. I'm just, uh, this is a very quick video here to explain MC4 cabling, branch connectors, why we have them and why they're in the kits. Um, because customers are calling in and there it's it can seem overwhelming um, and hard to understand and so this is just going to help demystify some of it so um, this these are the blue eddies EB 150 and EB 240 this is the length of the cable the MC4 cabling that comes with your blue eddy this might be three feet at most if you look on the back of the solar panels in the kit it might be at most two feet off the back of it. So you can, what will work is plugging this in and plugging this in, putting the solar panel in the sun and you're gonna start charging. It's no problem. However, um, you might wanna be having your generator in the shade and your, and your panel in the sun. But how are you gonna do that with five feet of cable in total? This is where the MC4 extension cabling comes in. Red and black have no, doesn't matter at all. Um, it's just to differentiate the cable. You could have two black or two red cable. It completely doesn't matter. Um, all you would do here then, this is the adapter, and these are about 10 foot cables. So you would plug one end in here, plug one end in here with the red, and the other two ends that aren't in this cable go into here, and now you've effectively added 10 to 15, 20, 100 feet, however the, uh, the length of MC4 cabling you choose to get, you've added that amount of distance that you can have between your solar panel uh, and your generator. Um, it's as simple as this as well. I'll link to the full video on how to connect solar panels um, into, uh, into the generators, but you would do it just the exact same way with two panels. You connect two panels together like this, in like that, and then these cables that are left go into the sides of the MC4 cabling and the other ends go back into that. That's as simple as it is to connect solar panels together. Now, the next thing we're gonna tackle here are the branch connectors. This is where people get super, super confused and they feel overwhelmed. Um, and I can totally understand that, but it's actually super simple and it's impossible to screw up here. So if you have, we include the branch connectors when you have four in all of our four kits, four panel kits. Um, so what you would do is you have four panels, you have two panels in series, and you connect another two panels in series. Okay? And then you basically, it's a series of elimination. You see these have two male, two female, two male, two female, two male. These ends that only have one and not the two, you can plug one end in here and one end in here, okay? These ends, the leftover ends, go into the adapter that comes with your solar generator. What happens with these ends now? You have two, two sets of panels in series the one fem you're gonna have one left over and one left over. So that goes into here. This one goes into here. And then what's left over is one female and one male. And the same thing on the back there, those click in and you're done. You've got two sets of series, two sets of series connected in parallel with these branch connectors, which are going into here. And the reason you do all this is because uh, when you connect panels in series, like the back of here, that raises the voltage of the panel. And when panels are connected in parallel, it raises the amperage. And so um, these generators have a maximum of 60 volts going into them. So if you connected four in series, the volts would be too high and it would trip the over voltage protection. And so in order to get around that, you do two sets in series, so it's 12 plus 12 is 24, 24 and then it, um, as well. And then you connect those two 24 in parallel, you get 48 and boom, you're done. You're not gonna hit the over voltage protection and you're gonna be good to go to, to connect your panels into your generator.